power grids and water supplies are meant to disrupt possible future military operations of what is essentially a ticking time bomb. Have you ever wondered what lies behind China's latest mega hydro engineering project? Navigate the political tensions it stirs, dissect the arguments of its critics, and hear firsthand from the engineers at the heart of this monumental endeavor. Welcome to China's multi-billion water lifeline. China's Red Flat River Water Diversion Project proposal, also known as the Red Flat River Project, has recently gained significant attention on Chinese social media and in downstream countries, particularly India. This ambitious interbasin water diversion plan draws its name from the renowned Red Flat Canal and seeks to transfer an annual volume of 60 billion cubic meters of water from the fragile ecological region of the King High Tibet Plateau, which includes three transnational rivers, the Mekong, Salween, and Brahmaputra, to the arid regions of Xinjiang and other parts of northwest China. In Chinese social media discussions, the Red Flat River project has been portrayed as a significant solution to address the water scarcity issues in northwest and northern China highlighting China's impressive engineering capabilities. However, Indian media outlets have expressed concerns regarding this proposal, viewing it as a potential threat to their own water security. Despite the enthusiasm surrounding the Red Flag River Water Diversion Project proposal, it faces criticism from some quarters. Chinese scientists, such as Zhang Hongxuan, have raised concerns about the project's substantial cost and the potential for significant domestic water loss. Yang Qinyi, from the Institute of Geographic Sciences, has highlighted that the Red Flag River project presents severe challenges in various aspects, including geology, technology, ecology, economy, and society, in both the regions where water is sourced and those where it is received. Furthermore, Yang and his co-authors have pointed out potential negative consequences for the ecological and water balance within China, which could lead to changes in the ecosystem and habitat loss. It's important to note that these critics have not presented concrete evidence to support their arguments, nor have they provided a comprehensive assessment of the Red Flag River project. The Red Flag River Water Diversion Project proposal is poised to become the largest, longest, and most expensive interbasin water diversion project globally. While the project has garnered significant attention for its engineering aspects and the potential benefits it offers in terms of farmland and oasis creation, there has been limited focus on the broader implications it holds. This paper aims to shed light on the project's contribution to strengthening China's water security grid system, potentially addressing the country's water quality, quantity, and distribution challenges on a national scale. The Red Flag River project is expected to play a pivotal role in expanding China's water grid system. This expansion can have far-reaching implications for China's water security by ensuring a more reliable supply of water to regions that face scarcity issues, particularly in the North China Plain. This double security concept entails both increasing the quantity of available water and improving its quality, thus addressing two critical aspects of water security. By diverting water from the ecologically sensitive King Hai Tibet Plateau to the arid regions of Northwest China, the Red Flag River project can contribute to a more equitable distribution of water resources within the country. This could help alleviate water scarcity concerns in areas that are crucial for agriculture and urban development. Moreover, the project may also help improve water quality, as it can reduce the over-extraction of groundwater and reliance on polluted sources. Red Flag River Water Diversion Project proposal represents a significant step towards strengthening China's water security grid system. While the focus has largely been on its engineering marvels and local benefits, its potential to provide double security in terms of quantity and quality of water supply to the North China Plain and other regions should not be underestimated. This comprehensive approach to water security may prove essential in addressing China's pressing water-related challenges. Before we continue, let's inject a bit of humor here. But on a serious note, if you're liking what you're hearing, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. It keeps us going and ensures you won't miss any of our future content. Now back to our discussion. Scholars have proposed that the Red Flag River project can be likened to a 6,180-kilometer-long gravity-driven water diversion system with the ambitious goal of transforming Xinjiang into a region akin to California in terms of agricultural productivity and water resources. This vision involves utilizing the main channel to transport water to southern Xinjiang, extending all the way to Kashi 
while concurrently diverting a substantial volume of water into the Turpan Basin and northern Xinjiang by following the Chunfeng River. The irrigation water derived from the Red Flag River project will not only benefit Xinjiang, but also other water-scarce provinces in the arid northwestern region, including Gansu and Ningxia. Interestingly, this area has been the only water-thirsty region in China that has not yet enjoyed the advantages of the country's massive hydroengineering projects. Nevertheless, it holds the potential for significant agricultural productivity if an adequate water supply is made available. The projected volume of water to be diverted to northwest China exceeds the annual discharge of the Yellow River, a substantial water source in China. This substantial quantity of water is expected to facilitate the creation of approximately 200 million, equivalent to 13.3 million hectares, of arable land in Xinjiang. Additionally, it is anticipated that this water will contribute to the establishment of a 150,000 square kilometer oasis in northwest China. In addition to its primary goal of creating an interbasin water supply system, it is believed that the Red Flag River project will also play a significant role in enhancing the water security of northern China. The completion of the South North Water Transfer Project, SNWTP, has already established a comprehensive water grid system aimed at securing water supplies for Beijing and other major cities in the North China Plain, often referred to as the Sanzong's Hang System. The term Sanzong pertains to the three routes of the SNWTP, with the middle and eastern routes already operational and the western route in the planning stage. Additionally, Sang represents the four major east-flowing rivers in the region, namely the Hei River, Yellow River, Hei River, and Yangtze River. Once the western route of the SNWTP project is completed, it is expected to divert a substantial volume of water, amounting to 17 billion cubic meters, from the upper Yangtze River to the upper reaches of the Yellow River in the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. This diversion is anticipated to significantly alleviate the water stress experienced by the Yellow River, potentially mitigating issues such as the drying up of the river's lower reaches. Beijing and North China's quest for a double secure water security system is primarily motivated by their unique set of challenges. For years, China has grappled with issues concerning water quality, quantity, and unequal distribution. The central government has responded by implementing large-scale hydroengineering projects that have not only transformed water distribution patterns within China, but have also alleviated water scarcity issues in recipient regions. As a consequence, northern China has become heavily reliant on the South North Water Transfer Project, SNWTP, with over 70% of Beijing's water supply sourced from it. To safeguard the water security of this rapidly industrialized and urbanized region, known as the North China Plain, doubling its water supply is seen as a strategic imperative. In recent decades, numerous hydroengineering projects have been undertaken across various regions of China, with one notable exception being the Northwest. Should the Red Flat River project come to fruition, it would represent a significant addition to China's roster of mega-hydro projects, marking the first of its kind in Northwest China. This paper provides a comprehensive perspective, as it not only establishes a novel water supply system for Northwestern China, but also strategically integrates with the existing water grid system, effectively creating a double secure approach to water supply for Beijing and Northern China as an entirely new and independent water supply system designed to cater to the needs of Northwest China. The Red Flag River proposal aims to bridge a substantial supply gap in the region. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this journey as intriguing as a river's meandering course, remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. And guess what? Our next video is just around the bend. It's all about the hidden truth about China's new city build in the desert. You won't want to miss that, so stay tuned, and until next time, keep exploring.